Welcome to Paradise Island, the Atlantis Resort in the Bahamas, and the Bad Boy Mowers Battle for Atlantis. One semifinal set, Michigan, and sixth rank, North Carolina. And now a night session featuring three of the nation's top 13 teams, starting with number eight, Gonzaga, and Southern Miss. Our starting lineups brought to you by Atlantis. A little bit of a different look for Southern Miss, which is on the board first. That is Tyler Stevenson, the sophomore. Southern Miss at two and three at a conference USA. Team that lost a ton from last year. One of their returning players, absurd tempo. A little bit too fast sometimes, as on the last possession, and here he slows. The three for Corey Kispert, the only returning starter for Gonzaga, ties the score. Stevenson. Little bit out of control of the takeaway for Admon Gilder, the Texas A&M graduate transfer. Timmy can't clean it up with the third chance there for Kispert. He has five in a row. Press, they've showed some zone. They'll also play man. Kispert. Oh, is he feeling it? You could have been the first one to do it. You could have been the trendsetter. Timmy. Inside, don't need to check the hand there. High percentage shot for Drew Timmy. Thanks. The field goal percentage numbers are ridiculous on this Gonzaga team. Eighth in the country. Artur Knutschuk, the freshman out of Pranu, Estonia, gets the bounce on a triple. So I think all four of those teams will have a real shot. They certainly have the talent ceiling to do it. Bank shot for Knutschuk, who has five. Baker off the bench. 6'5", redshirt senior with the ball right now. Jack Domi will work it inside, denied by Philip Petrushev. Petrushev was dominant for Serbia. I mean, just had an incredible tournament. Average 19 and 10. There's a three for Davius Drain. Kispert hit his first three. That one long and cleaned up offensively by Woolridge. Ayayi hits the three. Joel Ayayi, another guy has an international flair. On this Gonzaga roster, six different countries represented. Malone with a triple, J. Malone. Ayayi gets Harper Baker in the switch. Ayayi takes it to the rim. All sample size, 353rd in the country in three points percentage. will still hold up for a little bit. Here's Drain. <laughs> Small sample size gets a little bit larger. Kispert, hot hand early, Corey Kispert with his third three. Drew Timmy, and cleaned up, Ayayi. Who misses a three, that's nine consecutive misses. Nice. And Petrushev runs the floor well. Timeout, Southern Miss. I really do, I mean going back to their Sweet 16 loss to Florida in 2018. Ended up hurting himself, and so had to beg out of that and come back. I and mean, it just, you feel bad for a kid. Ayayi from Wall Ridge is a 13 0 Gonzaga run, meanwhile, and Killian loves it on the bench. Dunk tonight. Off the bench, Gabe Watson. Yes. 12 drought, a scoring drought of just over six minutes. And Gonzaga answers with that. Gilder, the Texas A&M graduate transfer. Gonzaga team that lost a lot. Ayayi finds Kispert, six to shoot. And Kispert buries a three. His fourth three-pointer of this first half. The answer is there from Knutschuk. The shots in games, are they good shots? And he has taken great ones tonight. Oh, that was pretty. Petrusha with a little left-hand flip. Knutschuk into Ayayi. And Knutschuk is showing off some skills. What a find this young man was for Southern Miss. His coach until he moved in to his dorm. Pretty crazy story. Amazing. From the Get Better Academy in the Czech Republic. And Petrushev has an answer. Philip Petrushev. Extreme damage from the storm. Uh, and for those that haven't seen this, this is an amazing story. Stephen F. Austin Athletics started a GoFundMe for you and your family. Those last few moments of that game, 
you know, Duke has grabbed me. I uh, was trying to get a shot up. Well, uh, my teammate, uh, Rossi, he, he has got a deflection. Even he dove on the ball. You know, he had like, big time hustle play for him, you know, like, hustle play that, that changed a lot for a lot of, for a lot of people. One of the great things that, that can occur in sports is a great driver of that. And, and I got to tell you, already this year, Michigan State and Kentucky to Evansville. And then Duke last night. Petrushev with a little flip in. Gonzaga, meanwhile, leads by 17. King lost to Virginia Tech a couple of nights ago, beat UCLA in the fifth place game today. Petrushev inside. Boy, is he good. Five for five. It was a beautiful play. Had everything but the finish for the freshman Hunter Dean. He's slow to get back. And five on four, Ayayi makes it 12 in a row for Gonzaga. Watson and Killian Tilly out. First half stats brought to you by Atlanta. Southern Miss shot it pretty well. Five for 10 from deep, make it six for 11. Gabe Watson, it's a three for Gonzaga. And the rebound for Drew Timmy, who's had to play heavy minutes, the freshman off the bench. A rejection, Konecha on Woolridge. One lone bright spot with Jack Domi not playing well. And in foul trouble, Knutschuk's done a nice job. As has Corey Kispert. Preceding tonight. Knutschuk trying to take him. Instead, Jack Domi had just one point, three fouls in the first half, and he takes it for two. The freshman, Timmy. Out of Richardson, Texas, a chance for a three. 40 minutes. 11 point in on the year, he shot 66%. And Watson hits one over him. That's up. This is a game that a lot of folks have earmarked as maybe the game, the first round of Feast Week. Looks like Gonzaga will meet the mayor, Ayayi, with another three. He has 14. Seton Hall in Oregon, 9.30 ESPN2. That's the estimated start time. Depends on when this one finishes. And a three for Watson, new answer for Southern Miss. You see Miles Powell and Peyton Pritchard, both potential conference players of the year, national player of the year shortlist. Here's Kisper with another three for Gonzaga. Kanachuk, long two. And an offensive rebound is sent back. Foul was on the floor, by the way, so uh, he just does that instead. Oh, you're agreeing with me with the I am. I, I, I'm reminiscing with you. Mixtapes. You ever make a mixtape? Yeah. I miss that. <laughs> I don't know if there's enough room at a ping pong table with all those egos. <laughs> Not all at once. Some results were that Gonzaga went ahead. Do you take anything from that? Well, I do because in talking to Mark Few about it, he said. Kesper's got another. <laughs> as he has we've seen him on the bench a few times he's certainly been in good spirits today there's Kispert I got good news and bad news Southern Miss oh by the way you won the lottery you're going to Atlantis he loses five seniors from a team that was very good last year won 20 games they just don't have the experience right now and they're playing against a team that has all the talent in the world. That's Martinez Arlauskas with a chance for three. And who in the last two years had over 400 assists. I mean, he made the game easier for a lot of guys. They don't get easy shots. Like, even that shot there. Only his second miss of the night, Corey Kispert. Oh, Watson denied by Timmy. Seen Ohio State, though. I've seen Ohio State. Clemson has the best defense in America. And their offense is finally hitting its stride. Trevor Lawrence, the best running back in America. CN, arguably you, best. You are the one who needs to be making the argument why they're not the favorite. Um, well, here's the, the playoffs of the season ended today. Georgia, four, and they got to play LSU in the SEC championship, of course. Drain with another three. Plato took an inspiration, so folks have been trying to figure out what the Atlantis was that was the inspiration. Petrusha with another two. What do you think? Lands not seals. Gonna make sure we get that right. It's Harper Baker from Watson. Gonzaga had to travel to get here. Harper Baker with a steal and the stuff for Southern Miss. Violations that occurred under his watch. Doc Sadler took over once again. Ladner interviewed for the job, didn't get it. 
And a three from Drain, because he would be the right man for the job in that respect. He's got a good one here. Knutschuk with the left hand. Timmy just crossing it through his legs. Casual. He's 6'10", 235. Down low, and Sakura delivers. In terms of its composition, that team in 2017 that went to the national championship game. How Especially so? with the two freshman bigs coming off the bench. You remember that year was... Matthew Lang. Yes! Matt Lang with a three. Weatherspoon. 94-69. Your final score in favor of the Gonzaga Bulldogs. They improved to 7-0. and And they have a date tomorrow with the winner of our ensuing game, Oregon and Seton Hall.